Welcome back. Wearing your cringe hats. <laughs> <laughs> I actually love that show. It was nice to see you a lot of you. What are you implying? Well, we did see him for a while. You didn't see a lot of Made of Stacey. I don't think there was, was a lot of Made of Towards the end there, they were coming in there. And that's where mine is. Yeah. So I've heard rumors that you're going to be sort of the big bad again. In this, Where'd you hear those season. rumors? Uh, random nerds. So, like, uh, are you, uh, do you, is this going to be a... It's like nerding cats. So are we going to see a lot of you, uh, uh, more of you than we did last season? Last season? Are you implying you're getting fat? <laughs> <laughs> Close ups would be less of me. I guess. But Wider not on the shots would be more. Not on the screen. Um, I, you know, I mean, the great thing, the great thing about this show is you really don't. Want it. You do, but you, you really don't want to spoil it. Yeah. I mean, we've been excited every year, you know, as a viewer of the show, as a watcher of the show. Um, I, I want to be excited. I want to know where the story's going to go. I want to be surprised. I want to find out what's going on. I think they're in a fascinating position. I think the fact that Jeremy's come back to the show, you know, from, from the area that he wrote from, which was a fantastic part of the supernatural folklore and the building, to come back to, to take the helm now, you know, with the things that he said, things that he said in uh, in Hall H, you know, the focus, the boy, you know, the boys not being on the back foot, the boys being very much, you know, on, on the aggressive stance rather than the defensive stance. I think it's going to make a massive difference to the season. And Crowley, you know, there's some there's some stuff that's gone on. I appear to have, and certainly at this point, I appear to have Kevin. You know, left with Kevin. We'll see what the deal is there. And you know, I guess we're probably going to have to address where Crowley's going and what he's doing. Yeah. I think the interesting thing that he said was the nature of the relationship between Crowley and the boys. It's actually not always been that malevolent. There's always been that give and take. There's always yeah. been that that uh, that reciprocal you know, ideal, I guess, and uh, which has led people to the you know the thing is is he really a demon? Is he really a, you know you, all those questions get asked. But uh, I think this year the contention is is going to be much higher because there's a singular goal or, or a series of goals, I guess, that uh, we seem to be pursuing at the same time. It's kind of a race. It's been... Is that what he said? No, it's not. It's yeah. kind of a race? It's kind of between the two of you. Like the Maybe. I don't, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. I mean, the fun part is, the fun part is, I've always been excited. Even on the seasons where people have like, I'm not sure, you know, five was so powerful. You know, the combination of five was so powerful. And then six is like, everyone's going to be disappointed because how do you match you know the build to five and I thought six was actually wonderful some of the best episodes made were in six as a season it was kind of really interesting really hard to get to seven you know it has it has its ups and downs and people are like oh look at this like what do we do <laughs> we're still here we're still going and it's it's still not boring it's still interesting and it's still character development and now to see where we've turned to it's not the easy way this is not the easy path and I think Jeremy and Ben and, and, and Daniel and everybody else and all those great writers uh, uh, you know it's, this is the baby this is this is they want this to be good they want this to be the best supernatural it can be it's not just bang it out and see what you know let's, let's turn it into a procedure or something yeah uh, at this point in the series do you still read scripts and think can you allow yourself as an actor to think like this is really going to piss fans off or they're going to really love it like is there any of that well that's the most exciting thing is if it pisses fans off it's usually really good <laughs> Yeah. Because that's the best thing for fans. I've been in a lot of genre shows, a lot of big fans, and they want to be challenged. I mean, I was just, I was just bumped into Moffat, and you know, there's a man who spends his entire time pissing off fans, yeah. but in the greatest possible way, in the most brilliantly intellectual and brilliant, brilliantly clever ways. And come on, let's be honest, that's what we want. As fans, we want to be a little pissed off and pushed. Right? <laughs> yeah. so, that's all the time we have. Thank